So, lovely day here in Qashqais. Um, we're at anchor now. We were in the marina the last couple of days, but we're one of the probably 40 odd boats at anchor in this bay. And uh, the submarine has just come up um, right next to the bay, or maybe it just motored in. I didn't see it coming. I just looked around and it was there. It's kind of crazy thing. But um, we're going to be heading for Madeira in about one hour's time. Uh, so 5 p.m. the 21st of September. 2022. Um, it should, it's roughly a 500 nautical mile crossing, so I'd imagine it will take about five days. The wind is lovely right now, it's, it's quite fresh, and it should be good till maybe 11 or 12 tonight, and then we'll be motoring for a little while. Uh, probably, according to the ECMWF, we'll be motoring for most of um, the day, or most of the night, and most of tomorrow, and then from then on, we should have fresh sort of 15. 12 to 15 knot breeze uh, to carry us down towards Madeira at a, at a nice pace. Towards the end of the passage then it picks up a bit to like um, 20 to 22 knots but no more no more than that and gusting 24 25 maximum so it should be should have full sail up almost all the time which will be really nice and uh, yeah we'll keep recording along the way and see how we get on. Um, it's Sinead's first overnight uh, tonight and it'll be our first multi-day passage um, but I think the weather is it's a pretty good forecast to be heading off on this kind of thing so hopefully she'll have a good one. So we're underway and we're sailing. It's 5 p.m. we're about a quarter of an hour underway at the moment just looking back here at Qashqais Marina and Anchorage. Sinead's here looking at the sun. <laughs> So, so far the wind vane appears to be working. I was a little bit worried that I might have put it back together wrong and that it was only kicking one way, but we'll see as the journey goes on, but it does appear to be working fine. As always, it likes a bit of breeze before it really starts working well. And you got a new life jacket. And I got a brand new life jacket. Sinead got me a new life jacket. My old one did not inflate when I fell into the water um, at seas, Isle, Isle of Seas. Uh, which I didn't include on the video because I didn't have any footage of it. Um. <laughs> but yeah, five, five days from now we'll be arriving in Madeira, hopefully. Um, and hopefully it'll be five days like this, just beautiful, pretty flat waters and uh, you know steady 13, 14 knot breeze. It is a little on the nose at the moment, but we're still going 5.5 knots. First day of our Madeira crossing and we're eating in style. Sinead has made a really beautiful, what is it? One pot pasta. A really beautiful one pot pasta. Quite a nice sunset out there. We've only done about 15 miles in three hours. We've got 461 left to go. Pretty much a straight line. So that's night one at sea over with. Um, Pretty perfect conditions really, we're uh, flying along at about 4 to 4.5 knots, we're averaging about 4.6 I think so far, um, come about 65, 66 miles um, in 14 hours, so that's not bad going really considering, and no, no motor at all even though again one of the models was saying we've been motoring all through the night, so delighted that that has not come to pass. Hopefully now um, we might have a light wind day today, but then after that the wind should be steadily increasing. So yeah, nice, nice sunrise. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. But so first night at sea over Sinead. Um, took took night watch from uh, three to seven. So that was uh, I got loads of rest and feel kind of amazing today, considering you know it's, it's the first night at sea. So. Yeah, just a good start to the trip. <laughs> you have to stop shaking your head every time you have a camera pointed at you. This is dinner on day two. Um, what is it? 
couscous with mozzarella. One pot, one pot couscous with mozzarella. Everything is one pot. Couscous with First 24 hours done. We've come um, 104 miles in that 24 hours, which is pretty good because we're expecting light winds and lots of motoring. However, we haven't had the engine on at all. We've been sailing the whole way on a close reach for the most part, occasionally beam reach. Um, so yeah, one day down, four to go. Um, good start to the trip. I caught a fish earlier. Um, well, I hooked a fish and while landing it, it was some sort of small tuna-like thing. I was kind of thinking I might throw it back anyway because it was pretty small and uh, it wiggled off the hook as I was lifting it up to the boat, so probably just as well. But uh, good to know that our, first of all, that my, my hand reel uh, and cedar plug setup is, is working um, and good to know that there are fish out in the water so it'll keep me enthusiastic to, to catch something bigger. Second night at sea or second evening just uh, another sunset just put a reef in the main single reef as the wind is kicking up a little bit and uh, no sense in being overpowered at night so we're still going five knots and uh, yeah right on course <laughs> To, um, full day two of our passage to Madeira. We're about 40 hours out um, of Cascais and we have another maybe 55, 60 hours to go to Madeira, uh, depending on what the wind does. Um, but today we have much better wind and we're clipping along steadily at five and a half to six knots. We have a single reef in the main. We reefed just before overnight and I was glad we did in the end. It, it got kind of rough. Not rough, but you know you wouldn't have wanted an unreef man um, in the dark. A couple of fish on the hook at various different points, but never managed to reel any of them in. Um, I need to get a bit better at that. I've got the, a gaff ready to go now, so hopefully the next one I catch, I'll be able to pull it in using the gaff. Um, some fresh fish would be really, really nice to just supplement the, uh, the food supplies. I've got my first offshore fish, um, it's some sort of tuna, um, maybe a big eye, uh, pretty beautiful and I mean small but not absolutely tiny so yeah looking pretty good, definitely add to the food stores, hopefully the meat is nice. Dinner day three. Three. Um, kind of a tuna -y pasta. It's lovely. Dawn on day three. Um, we've got about 180 miles to go. Um, so about 300 miles done, which is great. Um, we've been coming up a bit on the course. We're sailing wing on wing, but with no pole out at the moment. Just uh, allowing the headset to fly for free. And uh, so we had been coming up on the course for the last while. Um, so we're quite broad now to get back down to it, hence the, uh, the goose wing, and it's been dark so I didn't want to put up a pole, but all good, this is the overall progress, you can see we're around well over halfway, but by today, end of today, early tomorrow morning we should have the back of the journey broken. Kind of exhausted, sort of forget that uh, even though I'm not single handed on this passage, uh, double handed is also quite tiring. Like you're kind of 
we're doing a three hour on, three hour off watch at the moment, um, which is fine, but definitely I need a longer period of sleep now, I think, although we had, like, the first night we did four hours, four hours, and I wasn't able to get sleep then anyway, so, um, yeah, it is what it is, it's, it's just, you're always going to be kind of exhausted when you're you're up and down like that. And funnily enough, I'm going to sleep better single-handed because I can sleep whenever and I would just constantly be lying down to take 15, 20 minutes. Um, whereas now there's like pressure to sleep for an hour or two when you have your off watch. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't happen and then you're left really exhausted. So, it's an interesting, interesting. So, it's full day three of our um, crossing to Madeira from Qashqai. Lovely weather today. It's, um, we're on a dead run at the moment. So the headsail just swings and pulled out, and the mainsail on a preventer. So it's very comfortable. We're going along on an average of about five knots for the last 24 hours, which is all you can ask for really on a, on a nine meter boat. Um, maybe about 30 hours to go. Uh, should arrive in tomorrow evening at some stage, maybe after dark. Let's see. Um, but yeah, very comfortable passage. It's not so long, really. Let's catch a few of them jumping. <laughs> <Uh-oh. laughs> wow! Some of them are really, really leaping. Did you see that? Day three dinner. Chorizo rice, delicious. So it's dawn on what will hopefully be our last day at sea on this trip to Madeira. Um, we have about 66 miles to go. Um, dawns are late, these parts. It's quarter to eight in the morning. Um, very windy night. Um, we have two reefs in the heads are in the main cell at the moment and no head sail out because we're dead, dead, dead down the wind and we've been, well, we've jibed overnight as we were really heading off too far in one direction. So hopefully some stage this afternoon we'll get uh, our first sight of Puerto Santo and uh, hopefully we'll be in by 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, this evening and anchor in the harbour there in, in Puerto Santo. Beautiful passage overall, rough night last night. Um, very tired now and look forward to getting in. Closing in in Madeira now just as the sun is going down. First stop is Porto Santo from this angle. It's kind of impossible to separate the islands even though Porto Santo is in the foreground and Madeira is 20 miles beyond it. Um, they all look just like one big mess of island but hopefully it'll become clearer as we get a bit closer as to exactly where we're going. Kind of windy enough day, uh, big waves for the first time on the passage but it's kind of propelled us down here nice and quickly. We'll probably get in an hour or two after dark. I don't think it's a particularly challenging marina or uh, harbour to enter after dark and hopefully we'll be able to pick up a morning boy no problem. Forward to getting in and having a good long sleep. <sighs> so beautiful but slightly drizzly arrival in Madeira.
So this is the harbour in Porto Santo. It's right tucked into the mountains, which is very picturesque, but means that it does get quite gusty in sort of catabatic winds coming down off the mountain tops, off the mountain sides. It's lovely clean water and very small marina, which is full at the moment, so, uh, but we're happy enough being anchored off. It's about seven meters, eight meters, and uh, yeah, we managed to find a little spot that's inside the harbour and pretty tucked away. So we're leaving today to head to Quinta de Lord, uh, which is on Madeira itself, and there we'll spend about a week and rent a car and, and drive around and see Madeira that way.